NBA 2K has just dropped all new attribute caps for every single badge that you guys are going to need in the game. And I'm going to go over and cover all of those for you guys so that you guys start off your builds on the right step. Before we get into that, I'm going to need y'all to smash up that like button. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to break this down into four categories being defense, shooting, playmaking, and finishing. And before I even get started, big shouts out to Zach Timmerman. That's who put out this information over in 2K. So if you guys want to uh, get these screenshots or furthermore look into this information, you can check him over on Twitter. Um, so let's get into the badges. We got Brick Wall, Anchor, Chase Down Artist, Post Lockdown, Ankle Braces, Challenger, Clamps, Fast Feet, Off Ball Pass, Pick Dodger, Glove, interceptor right stick ripper and movable enforcer 94 feet pogo stick workhorse box out beast and rebound chaser so some of these badges made a return and some of them are new so i can't even tell you what some of these badges descriptions are like such as 94 feet but i'm guessing that uh, that replaced a uh, challenger that's what it sounds like to me because you need perimeter defense as well as stamina so keep in mind that your physicals are going to play a huge role in your builds this year when you're making your builds so you guys want to spend a little bit more time in a my career builder just to get brick wall you need 72 strength just to get it on bronze um and for hall of fame you need 99 strength so keep that in mind chase down you're going to need a 94 block 71 speed and 83 vertical to get that on hall of fame i know a lot of people back in the day used to just rock it on bronze just to get the animation so just on bronze you need a 68 block 50 speed and a 60 vertical that one don't seem too technical to be able to get on bronze though for y'all uh y'all lockdowns and y'all rim protectors let's see uh ankle braces is a, a popular badge uh, uh i didn't feel like that badge even worked to be quite honest last year i did not use that badge um but you need a 64 perimeter defense and a 94 perimeter defense to get it hall of fame 64 being to get it on bronze um challenger is definitely a good badge to have for that perimeter uh defenders so you need 71 perimeter defense just to get it on bronze and hall of fame you need 94 uh perimeter defense to get that hall of fame um clamps you need a uh, perimeter defense 75 and strength 45 to get that bronze um to get it hall of fame you need 99 perimeter defense and 60 strength so see you're gonna need some strength to be able to use that clamp badge so if y'all guards y'all y'all not making y'all builds with strength you're really gonna be missing out on a lot of badges and, and probably end up have to make happen to make a whole new build pick dodger for pick dodger bronze you're gonna need a perimeter defense 74 and for hall of fame perimeter defense 98 see i remember last year uh, in 2k23 you was able to get it uh these hall of fame badges on 98 but it seems like some of these badges are requiring 99 this year um glove was definitely a popular badge especially in the beginning of the year and i'm guessing it's gonna be like that uh this time around too because 2k always be lacking with the patches i hear that the game ain't even dropped yet and they're already dropping a patch so it, it's kind of crazy um to get a glove on bronze you need a 72 steel which ain't too bad at all uh 85 steel you could get it on silver um but hall of fame 99 of course um interceptor as well 60 is not bad 60 steel you get bronze interceptor you know how op interceptor it can be especially in the wreck and i'm hoping man my fingers is crossed that they 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 really nerfed this uh this this badge right here because it was kind of od in the wreck where everybody's just spamming square they're not even playing defense they're just spamming square um 95 for hall of fame though interceptor which isn't too bad either so you don't need that on 99 either so um for y'all lockdowns then we got the right stick ripper um i'm guessing this goes hand in hand with glove and uh 70 steel for bronze and 96 for hall of fame um 94 feet okay so they do got challenger and 94 feet so i'm guessing those are gonna go hand in hand because it's perimeter defense and stamina that you need for 94 feet um just for bronze you need a 76 defense and 87 stamina for hall of fame you need 93 and then you need 99 stamina so this is an actual badge that you actually need 
99 stamina to even have we didn't have anything like that in previous 2ks where you was forced to get stamina just to get a badge that's kind of interesting um pogo horse uh pogo stick i said pogo horse 60 vert you're gonna need and or either a 79 block offensive rebound 78 or defensive rebound 78 so you're gonna need the vert you either gonna have to have block offensive rebound or defensive rebound these are two categories that you're gonna need for this badge as well um for hall of fame you're gonna need at least the 83 vert with a 97 block to be able to get up there and send shots to to china or you're gonna need a 97 offensive rebound or a defensive rebound as well i'm guessing i would definitely use a offensive rebound and definitely vert see it's going it, it will probably tie into three different things because if you were big with um pogo stick you're gonna have offensive rebound and defensive rebound and then you're gonna want to add some block and you're gonna already have the vert as well so um you pretty much gonna have that worked into your build let's get into the next category though we got passing uh we got bailout bailout is huge i know a lot of guards that use bailout and listen your pass accuracy you lacking in that area you not passing the rock like that you're not gonna be able to bail out you need a 87 just to get on bronze that is huge for all the guards who be lacking on the pass accuracy i usually like to have a lot uh, high pass accuracy because i don't like throwing slow passes so we got bailout break starter dimer needle threader post playmaker relay passer special delivery touch passer um ball handling we got ankle breaker big driver blow by handles for days hyper drive killer combos physical handles speed booster i don't even know why that's a badge triple strike and unpluckable got needle threader though still so a needle threader you you need at least a 77 pass accuracy to get it on bronze and you need a 98 to get it hall of fame relay pass i'm not really sure what that badge does yet but to get it it's, it seems fairly easy 60 uh pass accuracy which i think everybody should have more than a 60 pass accuracy if you got anything lower than that i don't know what you're doing ankle breaker i don't really know a lot of people that even use that badge anymore like that i'm surprised that it's really still in the game even though ankle breaking is a part of you know what i'm saying the ball handling i don't know too many people that use it if you do you know what i'm saying use that badge let me know in the comment section um definitely want that blow by uh your ball handle has to be on 67 and speed with ball 62 and 61 acceleration so this badge right here needs three physicals in a sense or three attributes to go towards it just to be able to get that badge on, on hall of fame you need 97 ball handle speed with ball has to be at 89 and 90 acceleration okay handles for days this is definitely a, a good badge right here 69 ball handling with 90 stamina so you need stamina for that badge as well which i know the guards typically you you run in 90 and above with stamina so that shouldn't be too much of a problem to get um hall of fame 95 ball handling with 99 stamina hyper drive was definitely a goaded badge last year um speed with ball need to be 69 and speed 72 for bronze um hall of fame speed with ball 91 and speed with 90 okay uh people definitely use killer combos last year um you only need ball handling for killer combos which i'm surprised that you don't need stamina for killer combos because if you comboing up you want to be using stamina so um let's look into the speed booster though to get it on bronze and this is a, a number uh attribute combo hungry type of uh badge you need a ball handling 76 speed with ball 72 and either a 75 speed or a 79 acceleration that's very interesting for hall of fame you need ball handling 95 and speed with ball 91 or either speed 92 or acceleration 93 hasn't seemed too much too high they don't need you don't even need a 99 to be able to speed boost so let's go on the perimeter shooting for all y'all shooters out there um these are the badges that we got we got the mini magician made its return agent threes is back in the game claymore is back corner specialist limitless range blinders catch and shoot 
comeback kid dead eye green machine guard up open looks i think uh that's a new badge space creator spot finder that's a new one free points i don't even know what that is slippery off ball so a lot of these badges are back in the game so we we pretty much know the majority of what they do let's see uh agent three for all y'all faders and i did hear that fate in from the three-point line has been nerfed so i look forward to not seeing y'all fade from the three-point line to get this badge on bronze you only need a 76 three-point shot and for hall of fame you need a 99 98 excuse me three point shot i definitely ran with claymore just to get it on bronze you need a 63 point shot which is not bad at all hall of fame 92 gold you only need an 83 three point uh, 82 three point shot so claymore is definitely I, I like that badge personally uh corner specialist i ran it on some builds some builds i didn't need it at all um 65 for bronze a 94 three-point shot for a uh, uh, hall of fame limitless range has changed this year um to get it on bronze you need at least an 85 three so for y'all bigs who just had like let's say an 83 ball last year which was definitely good enough to shoot the ball you're not gonna be shooting from uh deep range to get this badge on hall of fame you have to have a 99 three-point shot which i don't see a lot of people having unless you just like a pure shot i don't see that happening um blinders 70 three-point shot or a 70 mid-range shot for bronze that's not bad at all and hall of fame 97 mid-range shot or 97 three ball so you, you we definitely gonna be able to get blinders but um it's either you in the 70s or you in the 90s you know what i'm saying to get to get both if you in the 70s 80s uh you'll be able to get silver max uh and then you have to go to 90s to get that gold catch and shoot this definitely was a good badge to have last year uh you need a 60 a mid-range or three to get it on bronze and you need a 93 mid-range shot or a 95 three-point shot to get hall of fame dead eye this year i didn't really use dead eye too much uh last year you're gonna need a 75 mid-range shot or a 75 three ball or a 98 mid-range shot for hall of fame or the 99 three-point shot green machine is about the same 64 three-point shot or 61 midi uh 95 mid-range shot or a 95 three ball guard up definitely a good badge to have 63 point shot or a 59 mid-range for bronze for hall of fame you're gonna need a 91 mid-range or a 94 three-point shot a lot of people i feel like is gonna be in that gold range which is a 82 mid-range or 87 three-point shot i don't know i don't know i don't think a lot of people is gonna get away with a like a low um three ball i don't think they're gonna be hitting like that especially they said all whites is not gonna be going in like that they just said that uh just greens is just gonna be going in again and that's how it was in the beginning of 2K23. So we, it's going to be interesting to see. All right, so now we got the finishing category for all y'all slashers and y'all acrobats. Um, let's check out these badges. We got acrobat, fearless finisher, float game, giant slayer, masher, pro touch, scooper, posterizer, precision dunker, rise up, aerial wizard, bunny, fast twitch, slithery, spin cycle, two step, bulldozer whistle back down punisher dream shake drop stepper post spin technician hook specialist and post fade phenom oh my gosh they got mad finishing badges compared to shooting let's see um definitely uh fearless finisher as a big or even a guard is or a small forward is a definitely must have badge let's see what the requirements are uh 55 strength and either close shot 68 or driving layup 70 that's not bad to get it on bronze um let's see hall of fame you're gonna need 67 strength which ain't bad at all close shot 95 or a driving layup 96 so it probably would be like uh close i don't know what would you get like you're not gonna have a high close shot and driving layup you know what i'm saying like just to get that hall of fame but that is a good badge to have but then people will not have this badge, have a low layup, and then be wondering why they missing wide open layups. So 
you guys got to keep that in mind when y'all making these builds giant slayer close shot 55 for bronze driving layup 59 that's not bad at all um, for hall of fame close shot 88 and driving layup 85 so it looks like close shot is definitely gonna play a different role in a sense because remember close shot was like when you was like anything i wanted to say like 10 feet to the basket that's what counted as a close shot and it seems like they implemented close shot more with laying up the ball or anything that close around the rim uh let's see what another oh posterizer how come i missed this Bra uh bronze 73 drunk uh dunk in a 70 vertical so you're not gonna need that much at all to get a bronze posters you know what i'm saying gold let's see 93 dunk and 80 vert the max vert you're gonna need for hall of fame is 85 and 99 driving dunk. so this is a badge that you're gonna need 99 driving dunk to get posterizer and we got rise up rise up was a goaded badge yo you're only gonna need 72 dunk on bronze and 60 vertical and uh standing dunk 98 and a 70 vertical um aerial wizard definitely a good badge to at least have on bronze so um 58 vertical driving lay layup uh 57 or you're gonna need a driving dunk 64 or a standing dunk 60 um bunny is a new badge that they added i'm not sure how that's gonna play a role gonna have to wait for the game to drop to see more info on that badge right there fast twitch was definitely a goaded badge to have you need a 71 close shot on bronze and a standing dunk 73 this time around and for hall of fame you're gonna need a close shot 98 and a, a standing dunk 99 or a standing dunk 99 so um that's definitely a, a good so it's looking like a lot of finishing you're gonna need that close shot up high that's what i'm getting off this um slithery 68 driving the layup um and a driving dunk or a driving dunk 70 for bronze hall of fame you're gonna need a driving layup 97 or a driving dunk 94. spin cycle i'm guessing that badge is when you when you uh spin your your analog stick in a circular motion and hold up to get that spin dunk or spin layup that's what i'm guessing but uh the badge that everybody's been talking about is the bulldozer badge and i don't know because it sounds to me like this is kind of like the bully badge last year and y'all remember that where you needed strength and look bulldozer you need strength to get it but i don't know the description on the badge which bully was for more for layups i wonder if bulldozer is going to be for layups and dunks instead of just for layups because that was kind of like the negative right there is like you have to use layups but who's driving to the paint to do some layups as a big man like that that that's strange to me but that's the attribute caps right there guys you guys leave a comment down below and let me know how you guys feel how you guys are thinking about building your builds also uh like you know what i'm saying you guys excited for this or y'all feel like 2k is capping and trolling us to get us hype just to get in our pockets i'm out of here man look be on the lookout for future 2k content i will be keeping you guys posted i'm out of here though peace hopefully you guys enjoyed that video i got another fire video for you guys to check out right here also make sure you subscribe if you didn't subscribe already and check us out on other social media platforms